How is it going YouTube boys today? We are back again with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put uh, Nintendo DS games on your 3DS. So yeah, let's jump right into it. To start off, you're gonna wanna go to this website right here, romgames.net. And you're also going to want to have a modded 3DS. You can look this, uh, look the guide up online. It's not too difficult. Um, it can do a lot of things. It runs Homebrew, which uh, lets you put in um, custom games. Uh, if it'll turn on. As you can see, you get cust all these custom games. You can get, like, you can get Virtual Console, you can get GBA, NES, SNES. You know, you can play the FNAF series. You can play Mario 64 on the DS. So yeah, for, for now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn off your DS, right? Then you're gonna take your SD card out of the thing. I have a, it'll focus, hopefully it'll focus, hello. Focus, I have a micro SD into a big SD. This one is, 64 no 32 let me get it out first yeah this is a 32 gig um micro sd that you can put in that which will fit into that now what you're going to want to do um you're going to want to put your micro sd into the side of your computer you can only do this on a computer by the way um i'm about to show you um, now it, let's say yours has a regular one like this. You can put this one into the side without having to take out the micro SD. So yeah. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to Nintendo DS on this website, romgames.net, and you're gonna find your game. I'm gonna click Soul Silver. Um, because I don't have it yet. You're gonna hit save game. If any pop-ups do put on, I do recommend to use a VPN. Um, as you can see, the download has indeed started down there. Um, you know, it won't, ta won't take a little bit, but it, these are very big files. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys when it gets done. And as you guys can see, Pokemon Soul Silver USA.zip is currently finished. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna make it show in the folder. All right. Now, um, and if you want to do this on a um, Windows computer, you're gonna have to have a zipper, like an unzip thing. So maybe WinZip. Um, but for Chromebook and Mac, all you have to do is double tap. Right, and you want to make sure if you're gonna port in a Nintendo DS, it always has to end in ND, .nds. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna open my SD card right here. All right, we're gonna go back to downloads. We're gonna scroll down until we find GM. No, not GM9. Yeah, is it GM9? No, 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 it's not. It's ROMs, okay? I'm sorry, I'm thinking something else. Until you find this right here, NDS, okay? Now we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to downloads. We're gonna scroll all the way down until we get right back down to ROMs right here. And you're gonna find um, NDS. So we have NDS right here. So now we're gonna take our soul silver zip we're gonna click it we're gonna drag it and then we're gonna put it into the nintendo ds file right right here so now when you click on this file you have all these which these are all ones i've already downloaded but as you can see pokemon soul silver version and now all you have to do 
is go back up to your um, SD card. You want to eject it. You should always eject before you end up uh, closing out of it. So uh, yeah, now you guys are gonna wanna take your SD out of your PC and I'm gonna put it back in here and I'll show you guys what to do. And now you're gonna put the SD card back inside of your 3DS. I do did forget to mention, this works on a new 2DS, old 2DS, uh, 3DS, 3DS XL, and a new Nintendo 3DS. So turn on your system. <coughs> right, then you're gonna want to go over to um, wherever you have all your homebrew things. And you're gonna go to Universal Updater. And you're gonna click A. And then you're gonna put in your pin. I can put it in correctly. Alright, so you're gonna put in your pin. It's gonna launch <clears throat> a homebrew, which this is what you use to download emulators and stuff sometimes. But what you're going to want to do is, um, first let me get my uh, stylus out. Sometimes it will update, sometimes it won't. You're gonna want to click this little search icon right here. You're gonna type in NDS. You're gonna scroll over to the third option where it says, and you're gonna go back to this, you're gonna click NDS forward. Now, I already have it downloaded, but when it downloads, it's gonna go <clears throat> right here. There's gonna be five things to install. It's gonna be like 10 megabytes, okay? So once it installs, you're gonna go back to home. You're gonna go to the homebrew app. Or the homebrew launcher, I should say. Alright, and when you get done with this, well, that homebrew launch should take, take but a minute. You're gonna scroll down to where, all the way down to the bottom, where you see NDS forwarder generator. Okay, you're gonna click on that. Then it's gonna launch this. Now what you're gonna do, the, where you put the file, which you put it, hopefully if you follow this correctly, you put it in the ROM folder. You're gonna click A. You're gonna scroll all the way down till you find NDS. All right. So then you're gonna scroll down. So here's Soul Silver. This is the one I just put from the computer onto here so then you're gonna click a again you're gonna it's gonna ask you do you wish to install so and so game you're gonna click yes install complete and when you press the home button and you go back to the home it's gonna show you that a new software has been added and you can unwrap your new game um, when you do boot up it should it shouldn't be anything too major you're gonna see this screen right here where it's gonna tell you bootstrap is gonna boot up <clears throat> but that's what it uses to boot these games off the sd card so i'm turning on correctly you're gonna get this message down here yep. <laughs> and then you're gonna get this message down here nds bootstrap please wait and after a few seconds or so your game's gonna launch So yeah, um, that's how you put games on from your SD card from a computer onto your homebrewed, hacked, or modded, if you want to call it, your modded uh, 3DS. You can do this also with Game Boy, SNES, PlayStation 1, uh, NES, and N64 games. As you can see, I have Mario 64. Call of Duty, Super Mario Bros, White Version 2, and Platinum. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this um, tutorial, be sure to drop a like down below and let me know if um, it 
worked for you, and um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will be sure to respond to everybody. But thank you for watching today's video. Like, subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.